not raised, uh, if all, I think, 300 million U.S. citizens, citizens are insured, where are the 117,000 additional doctors going to come from? system that they're in, uh, and, that, and I'm hearing that as I go around the state. Sometimes, though, these systems, for the cost to the individual or to the business or to the government, are continuing to increase. So one of the things that we have to think about as a nation is that 16% of our gross national product, which is twice the amount of all the other developed countries, any other developed countries, are going towards health care. So for those of you that are interested, like I am, in trying to get the deficit under control, part of the issue, part, part of the issue, part of the issue is trying to find a better way, a better way to deliver health care to these different groups at a lower cost. But that's a point, and we'll come back to your question. Responding to my emails, I have a question about the Healthy Americans Act you are co sponsoring. I read in detail the information I received from you. I didn't see anything mentioned about retired seniors in that bill. So, my question is are seniors who are retired and now on Medicare eligible for the health care you are co sponsoring? Thank you very much. The Healthy Americans Act is, um, I guess, proud to say, uh, is the only bill that's out there that has bipartisan support, seven Republicans and seven Democrats, and it actually saves a trillion dollars. Now, that's the good part about it. It may not be the best, you know, idea out there, but it's an idea to work from. At least the framework is pretty good. It does not include Medicare because we are of the mind in this group that Medicare would stay the way it is, um, generally, with reforms. And the money that we save in Medicare would go to Medicare beneficiaries. This is really an exchange for people between the ages of 0 and 7 and 65. That would extend. Um, basically insurance market-based coverage. Now, there are some people that don't like insurance market-based coverage, so I understand there are some critics to that. But the idea would be if every individual had insurance, not mandatory, but voluntary, that they could um, afford with subsidies for the lower income and middle income, and if you're wealthier, you get a little help, not as much as if you're middle class or poor, then we could expand coverage to people in a cost-effective way. Now, that's sort of the simple framework of it. But it's not that you were left out, it's just we were envisioning that Medicare would stay basically the way it is generally with some changes. So seniors are generally happy with Medicare from what we hear. If there are no cuts in Medicare. If there are no cuts in Medicare. Now, one modification we could make, because we're modifying these things as we go along, is if Medicare beneficiaries wanted to choose, if this new system was a better choice for them, we could potentially open that up. So thank you for raising that, and I'm going to respond to the co-sponsor of that bill, Ron Wyden, the lead sponsor. Thank you. Very 